How does a power supply regulate voltage and current? A power supply is an electronic device that converts an input voltage, typically from a wall outlet, into a regulated output voltage and current to power electronic devices. The regulation of voltage and current is achieved through various components and techniques. Here is an in-depth explanation of how a power supply regulates voltage and current. Transformer The power supply usually starts with a transformer that steps down the input voltage to a lower level. This reduces the voltage to a more manageable level for further processing. Rectifier The output of the transformer is AC, alternating current, but most electronic devices require DC, direct current. A rectifier is used to convert the AC voltage into a pulsating DC voltage. Filter, the pulsating DC voltage from the rectifier contains ripples or fluctuations. A filter, typically consisting of capacitors and inductors, is used to smooth out these ripples and provide a relatively constant DC voltage. Voltage regulation, the next stage of regulation involves maintaining a constant output voltage despite changes in input voltage or load conditions. This is typically achieved using a voltage regulator circuit. There are two main types of voltage regulators. Linear regulator, a linear regulator works by continuously adjusting the resistance to maintain a constant voltage output. It uses a pass transistor and a feedback loop that compares the output voltage to a reference voltage. If the output voltage deviates from the desired level, the pass transistor adjusts its resistance to bring it back to the set value. Linear regulators are simple and inexpensive, but are less efficient and dissipate more heat. Switching regulator, a switching regulator, also known as a switching mode power supply, SMPS, uses high-frequency switching techniques to regulate the output voltage. It operates by rapidly switching an input voltage on and off using a switching transistor and an inductor. This creates a series of voltage pulses that are then filtered and regulated to provide a stable output voltage. Switching regulators are more complex and expensive, but offer higher efficiency and better power handling capabilities. Current limiting, in addition to voltage regulation, power supplies also incorporate current limiting circuits to protect the connected devices. These circuits monitor the output current and limit it to a safe level, preventing excessive current flow that could damage the device or power supply itself. Current limiting is typically achieved using current sensing components such as resistors or current shunt monitors, combined with feedback control to adjust the output current. Overall, the combination of transformers, rectifiers, filters, voltage regulators, and current limiting circuits in a power supply allows it to regulate both the voltage and current to provide a stable and reliable power source for electronic devices. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.